Television has truly changed the way we live and the way we see and understand ourselves. It has broadened and illuminated our lives and will continue to do so digitally for some time to come. But the world's first television pictures would have looked something like this. The man who demonstrated them was a Scottish inventor called John Logie Fair. Using makeshift bits and bobs, he gradually refined an extraordinary contraption. The appearance before a national convention of its nominee for president to be formally notified of his selection is unprecedented and unusual. But these are unprecedented and unusual times. My friends, may this be the symbol of my intention to be honest and to avoid all hypocrisy or sham. This has been a color production of the NBC Television Network. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. CBS presents this program in color. This is an ABC color presentation. In 1969, television coverage logged another first. NASA's Apollo 11, the first manned spacecraft to land on the moon, was televised live. The nation watched as Neil Armstrong made his historic descent to the moon's surface. The 1980s brought exciting new technologies into the mainstream. Personal computers, video games, and videotape recorders came of age. For the first time, consumers had the ability to time shift television broadcasts. Throughout the early 1990s, change was the theme of the day, and that applied to the television industry as well. In the 1990s, television sets began to get bigger. We began to see screens of sizes we hadn't imagined.
I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration. But in terms of the main change, this is a digital world where it is no good. And so here we are. The era of analog broadcasting in the United States will be over. All digital transmission is the future. This year, 32 million digital TVs will ship, and nearly 80% of them will be high definition. The pioneers of television would not be surprised by what they see today. This is all a natural evolution of getting more pixels, better pictures, better sound. We are in the golden age of television because we're in the middle of this revolution to digital. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet in the gun, the inner glow, the 